Hello, I'm Gage. And I'm Caleb. And we'll be your anchors for episode six. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Paige Clevenger, Aaron and Ellis, Tristan Rasher, David Bell, and Lennon Smalley. Now we are going to bow with Junior People of the Week with Aiden Ferrix and Haley Rikis. Hi, I'm Bo. I'm here with the Junior People of the Week. Aiden Ferrix. Haley Rikis. What has been the best part of junior year? Probably homecoming, honestly. I was a big fan of it. Um, I'd have to say homecoming. It was pretty fun. What's your favorite high school memory? Uh, winning sectionals during baseball my freshman year. I feel like going to prom, it's pretty fun, just hanging out with people and going to post-prom. Um, what's your favorite hobby? Playing baseball. Um, swimming. And what do you have to say for the people who voted you? Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Back to the studio. Thanks, Bo. Now we're going to travel to the FCS building with Peyton to talk about the most recent FCS club project. My name is Peyton Kluver, and we're going to be talking to the FCS club as they are decorating uh, patriotic cookies to be sent overseas to U.S. troops. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of just walk around and talk to them about it. Jack Van Hovland, what are you doing here? I'm frosting the white part of the cookie. I'm outlining it. Who am I here with? Emily, Isabella. And what are you guys doing? Um, we're just making it so it looks all filled in and smooth and beautiful. So we're the ones that do the hard work and make it beautiful. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and Isaac, you're doing the same thing, huh? Yeah. Just you doing? A lot, you just do, a lot faster. Are you doing it as well as these ladies over here? Yeah. You better be. Better and faster. All right. Who am I here with? Mrs. Tathero. All right, Mrs. Tathero. Uh, how is the cookie decoration? Going. I think we did great. Uh, we have the culinary club here and uh, everybody jumped right in. It was a two-day project. We had to bake those cookies first, which I had that done, and then they had to decorate the white and the blue first, and then today they're doing all the red with the white um, I messed up that. stars. stars. Yeah, yeah uh, they look good. It looks great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was the most difficult part about uh, the, this, frosting. the frosting. Um, I agree. Peyton I helped me you. with the frosting, and it, it was, was so horrendous. stressful. It was so horrible. So it's <laughs> it, it's royal frosting. It dries really fast, which mm -hmm. and it hardens so that it will ship easily. Um, but we were so freaked out about it. <laughs> Took it worked out so long. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we got it. And we got it. Again, they look great. Yeah. Um, and what is the next event? We're going to be oh, doing. Oh, we don't know yet. So oh, yeah. we do have a meeting next week, and we're going to try to decide some things of what we want to do in December right. and the upcoming months. So it's really up to everybody what they want to participate in, and um, it's just for fun. So we're having fun with it. Anything else? Um, I just really appreciate that we're sending these to the troops, and I think that they will really enjoy them and just appreciate that people um, here in the States are thinking of them as they're away from their families through the holiday season. And it is not too late to join FCS Club, correct? It is not too late to join FCS Club, but you have to be committed. You need to be at all the meetings and, and the activities to stay an active participant. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Peyton. Now we have London talking about this year's fall play. Hi, my name is London, and this weekend, the MHS Theater Department put on the play, The Great High School Who Done It. We had a wonderful turnout, and we had lots of community members show up. Today, I'm interviewing Preston Jansen, and he's going to tell you how he thought the play went. How do you think the play went? It went well, because at first, it was like a little sketchy. A lot of people didn't know our lines, a lot of new people coming in. Until but opening night. Yes, I'm, but I'm really, really proud of how like far we came in such a short time. Mm -hmm. Like all the other people that like are new, that new came in, like Sydney, she came in, she did a really good job. And uh, Shavi. Shavi too. And lots of people who helped backstage too. So yes. it was great. A whole team collaboration. Yes. How do you feel about the interactive part with the audience? Uh, it's definitely unique, and I did enjoy it and be able to take like just a little break in between, go get some snacks, lemonade talking with each other throughout it. I really liked the interactive part of it because last year we went from a play that was really cut up and we didn't really get to talk to anyone during the play last year to such a diverse, different kind of play and I really enjoyed it and I think the community did too. Thank you guys. Back to the studio. 
Thanks, London. Now we're going to Are You Smarter Than a Fourth Grader with Briar versus Preston. Hi, my name's London, and I'm with our segment, Are You Smarter Than a Fourth Grader? Who am I here with? Briar. Preston Jansen. Okay. Do you have any final words to your competitor? I wish him the best of luck. Good luck, little man. You'll need it. Okay. <laughs> What's the third planet from the sun? Earth. <laughs> Correct. God did. What can I say? What can I say? Okay. What are the four directions on a map? North, east, west, south. Okay. Oh, <laughs> what is the substance that comes out of a volcano? Lava. Fire. Yeah, great job. That was me. That was me. No, it wasn't. That it was, was me, me, Preston. A farmer has 17 sheep and all but nine die. How many are left? <laughs> I click it. Go by. Uh, uh, three. Oh. Wait, how many? A farmer has 17 sheep and all but nine die. How many are left? Uh, uh oh. <laughs> nine. Yep, correct. <laughs> How many days does it take for the Earth to make one revelation around the sun? 365. Correct. <gasps> okay. What organ works with your heart to supply your body with oxygen? Lungs. Correct. I'm dead. Yeah, you're right. What equipment is best for viewing small cells? Thank you. Microscope. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't think. It's okay. Can't it's okay. Think. It's okay. You can forfeit. It's okay. Which country is home to the kangaroo? One, two, three, four, five. Yup. Yep, great job. <laughs> okay. What is it? Five to three? Okay. What sweet food is made from nectar by bees? Honey. Oh, yup. I swear I can't. Five cents is too long. Okay. Okay. What? <laughs> what is the top color of the rainbow? Uh, purple, I think. No. Oh my God, it was red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got it. Blue. Red. No, he got. He got he it. Got it? Why well, can't get it? I didn't know it was red. You see blue? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I thought it was the sky that started it. <laughs> I don't remember. I didn't okay. Know okay. This is it fair. Tied? Is it tied? This is okay. I got five seconds. I five can't five. even think. What is the name of the toy cowboy in Toy Story? I don't care, Woody. Uh, Woody. I don't need no, five seconds. Got it. Briar I don't need wins. five seconds, Woody. Briar wins. Congrats, Briar. What? what do you have to say? Where are we going to? What Eleven? That's, That's what not you get even. Numbers. For saying all that. Yep. What would you like to say for losing? I want to say. <laughs> <sighs> Let me think. Let me think. What words can describe how betrayed I felt? I feel like, I feel like, I feel like Woods in Black Ops. I was betrayed by my own country. One man betrayed by the nation that he loves. Right, Corbin? Me and Corbin's favorite quote. We'll put it in. One man betrayed by his nation. Thank you, Briar. Thank you very Six, much. Six five. I know the score. Great job. Bye, guys. Back to the studio. Thanks, London. Now on to Crosswalk Talk with Corbin. Who am I here with? Mr. Dwarf. Mr. Bushnell. Mr. Zecker. Mrs. Cook. What's your favorite class to teach? Um, I like them all. It's definitely PE stuff. I have pre-calculus with only two students right now, and so that's probably my favorite. It depends on the day, the topic. Sometimes it's English, sometimes it's social issues, sometimes it's sociology. Uh, who's your favorite student, and why is it Corbin? Um... We've had a lot of really good students in the past and present. I like, I like students who can spell accurately. It is definitely not Corbin White. Um, I don't know if I've had a student. I guess my favorite students of all time would be Ty Clark, Julia, and Eddie Bushnell. Um, it's anyone but Corbin White. He, he chose not to take my class, so. <laughs> I don't have Corbin this year. Uh, if you could pick one place to go on your dream vacation, where would it be? Um, maybe somewhere like France or Greece. 
from our little history. They all have history behind them, but a lot of good architecture. Oh, it's Bora Bora. It's ridiculous. I know, I know. It's so stupid, and so uh, everybody says that one, too. Norway. It's a beautiful country. I've been there, love it, would love to go back. Hawaii. Uh, and on a scale of 1 to 10, how sad are you going to be when I graduate? What, like, what's one? Uh, one is the least sad, 10 is the most sad. The least sad. You can't use negative numbers. Um, I mean, you bring up some interesting discussions, so we'll go six. Negative two. Oh, definitely a 12. At 15. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks, Corbin. And now to our community segment, first heading to Milford Youth Center with Peyton. For this week's episode, we went to the Youth Center located here in town. The Youth Center offers various activities for kids to do. They can go in there. They can play games such as a pool or air hockey. They even have an art room where kids can go and paint and color and decorate stuff. And in the new building, they also built a gym where kids can play various games. Here's the interview with Carol. Who am I here with? Carol Highfield. All right, Carol, uh, how long have you been the director? I think I'm going on about nine years now. Nice. Um, what's your favorite part of being the director? The kids. I love the kids. Uh, what's your favorite activity either to do or see kids do? Uh, pool. The kids really like playing pool, and I really enjoy playing it with them when I get the chance. Okay. Uh, when did the new building get built? We've only been here not even a year yet. Um, there was a time between the old building and the new building that they set up and imagined. And Colleen was nice enough to let them use that building for a few months. So they kept going a little bit through that. And they were able to do that most of the time until the new building was built. Mm -hmm. uh, and there was an old building. Yes, the when old building, um, it was there probably 10 or 11 years that it started before I started there. Mm -hmm. um, and it was just a building that we had in town that Sue and Steve Cross had, and uh, let, they let the youth center use it for nothing. Uh, and how is the new building? It's great, as you can see. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to do here. Um, everything's new. The kids can keep busy here mm -hmm. when they're here, and they have a lot of fun. I, I do think the gym is a very nice addition. It is, and it's probably the most popular. <laughs> um, and they can come here right after school. Mm -hmm. I open it so that as soon as school closes, they can come here, so it makes it easier a lot of times for parents to not have to worry about where their kids are going until mm. they get off work. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite part of the new building? I think just watching the kids enjoy it. They, it it's nice to see them have something that's new and improved, and he it, it's healthy here. It's a good environment, and I think that's the best part. Um, can someone from the community rent out the building? They are going to start doing that. They, I don't think they've done much of it yet. They still have to get an application ready, mm. prices, things like that. But mm. eventually that will be a possibility. Because didn't you guys have the swim team conference they celebration here? They did do here? that during the Milford. Our, our town? Yes, they did it during that um, to kind of promote that. But yeah, they have talked a lot about doing that. I just am not sure when that okay. exactly is going to start. Gotcha. Uh, anything else? Nope, we're just really glad to have the building and glad kids are coming and we're very busy. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Peyton. Following that, we'll have London talking about the Flower Social in Watsika. Hi, my name is London and I'm here with our community segment at Flower Social. Who am I here with? This is Marilyn. Okay, and do you want to just give us a rundown about your business you have here? Okay, we're a full service flower shop. We do local deliveries as well as in the area. Uh, we take care of funerals, weddings, you know, baby showers, whatever. We have tons of flowers, fresh flowers. As you can see, we've got lots of gift items, candles, plants, a little bit of everything. Do you want to tell me how you guys got started? Actually, we only started about two years ago. I've been in the business for almost 50 years. And um, the funeral home came to me and said, hey, would you be interested? And I said, absolutely. So it's been two years. It's been really good. What are your guys' hours? We are here Monday through Friday from 9 to 5 and Saturday 9 to noon. We also do evening appointments if necessary. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, we are at 213 North 3rd Street in Watsika, just north of Buyer Funeral Home. 
And our phone number is 815-432-6900. And what's your favorite candle that you have? My favorite candle is probably, oh, where is it at? Oh, there's a one that's really good for fall. I like Apple the cider cotton. donut. Clean cotton is good. Oh, this one's good. Try this. Grapefruit. <laughs> this one smells really good, good for something summery. These are these What's are yummy. this one? Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Yeah. Mm, that one's good too. <laughs> this one's good. I need to smell that. I guess that we won't great. smell it. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, London. Now onto this episode's grill and chill drawing for a free grill and chill lunch. Hi, my name's London, and I'm here with Mrs. Moorfield for our grill and chill drawing. <laughs> Eli Hornbuckle! <laughs> Thank you for tuning into episode 6 of Bearcat News. We'll see you in two weeks for the next episode. Thanks for watching.